waiting to hear your words in this occasion. Thank you very much and good evening. I am actually honored to be here tonight amongst all of you and Honorable State Minister from Maldives, also the lovely young lads and girls and everyone here, thank you very much uh, for this opportunity to address you a, a bit regarding the tourism industry which has really had a huge hit in the last two years. As a matter of fact, Sri Lanka, since 2019, I'm sure you know about the East Bomb attack. An unfortunate incident that took place and an unacceptable and unforeseen incident. Since then, Sri Lanka's tourism has been declining and after that, we suffered the COVID pandemic. I think the whole world, not only Sri Lanka, I think India, Maldives, around, especially around this region. I think because we are all tourist destinations and we have suffered the COVID pandemic and the results of it. I have to say Sri Lanka being a third world country, a developing country, we had to face a huge economic crisis which we are facing today. And tourism was one of, I would say, bread and butter also. It brought in a revenue of nearly 5 billion US per annum to Sri Lanka from tourism. And since 2019, the decli declining of the tourist arrivals and the last two years where we did not have many tourists, Sri Lanka had lost nearly 18 billion in the industry. Hence, I know that you all know Sri Lanka today is facing the crisis, the economical crisis that it has never faced ever before in history. Actually, for any country to survive, you need a 10 to 15 percent GDP and that is, that comes through tourism for any country. So, you could see where Sri Lanka is today. And I arrived this morning with the invitation of Rudra and his team in support of Tuaniwa. Is that right? And also, this is the start. I think with Male and um, it's the launch that they're having for Tony well with Male. But I think that we as Sri Lankans and Sri Lanka tourism industry also are hoping that we could too benefit from these things and we should because Sri Lanka as I have always said, we need a night economy wherever in the world, if any country is to develop. Because the revenue from a night economy is 70%. The generation of revenue. And the day economy brings in 30%. But unfortunately, right now in Sri Lanka, due to the crisis, we are working on the nightlife and the night economy. And India, as I, I heard the Honorable Mali Tourism Minister say, is our big brother. They are our big brother. And India has always 
I would like to thank the Indian government. I would like to thank every human on the soil of India. And thank you everyone for being there for Sri Lanka whenever it needed you. You have always been a help. You've always been there looking towards helping and reviving Sri Lanka from its problems at all, all faces, whenever we had a problem. So I do invite everyone from India because Sri Lanka has a beautiful heritage. Like I said, even though we are economically bankrupt, Sri Lanka's beauty, its culture, its heritage, its weather, and its soil is not bankrupt. It's, it's there for you to explore. It's there for the world to explore. And I invite everyone. I know India and Sri Lanka, we have a very good relationship. And there's a lot of tourism coming in from India. And as the State Tourist Minister of Sri Lanka, I plan to work on lots of specially cultural and religious packages to Sri Lanka for you all to come in and to explore the beauty and the friendly hospitality that we offer as Sri Lankans. And again, I would like to take this opportunity to thank the government of India and everyone in India, the whole population, as a matter of fact, because you all help in some way or the other. So thank you very much.